Hey guys, welcome back. What up, what up? So, Simon just got off work, as you guys can see. You know what I'm saying? Polo down. I'm a civilian now, so I can, you know what I'm saying, get fly. No more uniform. Facts. And um, I've been home um, all day. Um, Alina's sick. She does have uh, conjunctivitis, which is pink eye. And um, she woke up like with a, a lot of like eye boogers, like gunk in her eyes, and it's contagious. So we've been keeping her home. So I had to call out, you know, Kiara has, um, well not call out, get someone to cover my shift. Kiara has um, obviously two kids, so she can't stay with her. Um, I don't want the kids to get it or whatnot. What are you drinking, Simon? So, we're trying to be a little healthier, so we are eating, um, we're drinking shakes. Uh, what's in the shake? Uh, Alina, come over here. What did we put in the shake? What fruits did we put? We put strawberries, we put grapes, apples, um, bananas. And what was the green thing we put? Do you know what it was? Spinach? Yes, we put spinach. We put kale. And yeah. And then I put a little bit of what? A little tiny bit. Just a little bit. Um, Honey. Yeah. Just so yeah, and then um we had one yesterday. Well I made one for Simon when he got home from work and then we drank some too and then I made enough for all three of us. And we're drinking them in our cool cups. customized cups. So you guys see it has our names and everything. It's dope. Yep, so shout out. And they're kind of wobbly. <laughs> no, they're not. So, uh, Alina's is like a little crown with a unicorn, some glitter and sparkles, and her name is right here in the back. And then um, mine is a New York Jets one. Did you just make a face? And my right. name is in the back. And then Simon. You done? Okay. Now to the real cup. Look at this. That shit is a chalice. You know what I'm saying? Tampa Bay Bucks. You already know what time it is. I rep my boys every have, day. Daddy, did their cup have your name? Yeah, on the bottom. And it got my name on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, Let's it's, go. shout out to um, Jazzy Jen. So, it's J-A-Z-Z-Y. J-E-M Designs. Um, you can find her on Instagram. Shout out Jazzy Jim. So shout out to her for our cups. We love them. Thank you. Yes. Yep. And we literally just started using them. Yeah. So we had them for a while, uh, but we just started using them now for these uh, for these smoothies and stuff. And so we decided that that was the perfect time to shout you out. So yeah. appreciate but it. But thank you so much. Um, they're definitely durable. It feels like like you can tell it'll last you a while. So yours has glitter. Yeah, mine does have. Uh, does have glitter. Yeah. Nalina loves her. It's perfect because hers has a little straw and everything. So I think Alina has used it more than us. But now, yeah, with the smoothies, we'll definitely be using them every day. Facts. Mm. I like your smoothie, Mommy. Well, our smoothie because we made it together, right? Okay. So. Well, like um, Simon was saying, we're trying to eat healthier. I think right now I'm more focused on him because I, I have to, I don't know, I just can't jump into stuff like that. Like, I have to have the right mindset. Yeah. To say a lot more junk than you. Yeah. But, but you've been doing a good job. But yeah, um, he's been eating like a lot healthier this week. Um, I meal prep for him for like the entire week. And then I've been cooking like, I've been not use, uh, using like sodium just using like pretty much um what have I been using to like season like uh garlic <coughs> and oregano and that's pretty much it I think to season like the chicken and um what did we do yesterday salmon right yeah that was good too so when mommy what what did you put um what did you put Yesterday in the smoothie. I put pretty much the same thing. 
But yeah, um, and I like I made rice, but without like um any salt or oil, like came out. I didn't think I thought it was gonna be a lot more bland, but it came out pretty. Yeah, it came out good. So, and he's been eating like more uh, veggies and things like that. And like I said, I'll send him like a fruit salad at work so he can have something to pick on during the day. And then when he gets home, if I'm here, I'll make him a smoothie to hold him over until he has dinner. And we've been, you know, trying to at least do the smoothie part. You know, um, and if I'm cooking healthier for him, obviously no salt, like we're going to be eating healthier, so, and no oil also, so, trying to, um, you know, not only look good, but feel good, I guess. Speaking of looking good, starting next week, I'm going back to the gym, sexy, the return of sexy flexi. What gym are you going to? I don't know. I'm thinking One Life, because I heard YMCA trash, and I heard Planet Fitness is trash. And I heard 20 Anytime Fitness is trash. So, probably one life. I'm going to look for something close here. And then, whatever that is, I might end up hopping on that. Mm. So. I should go to the gym with you. If we only had a babysitter. Oh, we do. <laughs> well, maybe I will. But like, for me, I don't really want to lose. <coughs> you okay? I don't really want to lose weight. Um, my goal is to like tone, you know, my body. I mean, I wouldn't mind losing like five pounds, but I just want to be toned, like no fat, no, you know, cellulite, like just not too crazy. Um, me personally, I don't want to look too muscular. That's just me. Um, that's my the way I would like my body. Um, you know, I think it looks good on people that do have like you know the muscular um the muscles or whatever i just want to be toned like you know you feel my stomach and you don't feel no chicho like that so what are your like body goals to be a swole ass motherfucker oh my god i'm trying to get swole out here swolly swole i say gains i just want all the gains you know what i'm saying i said I want to have a nice, you know what I'm saying? I want to get a nice six pack and all that. But I'm trying to be swole, you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, stay with it. That's fine. But yeah, so, and when do you think, like, um, do you want to lose weight or you just want to stay like... Nah, I don't, I don't really feel like I need to lose weight. I just need to turn fat and muscle. You know what I'm saying? Did I drink all of it? So. I mean, yeah. How long do you see yourself? Like, um, how long you think this process is gonna take you? Oh shit, that's a lifestyle. It ain't. A oh no, no, I, yeah, but no, but I'm saying yes, it's a lifestyle. But I'm to saying get to the get the results the, I want. Yeah. Shit, it'll probably take a mommy, year to change. Mommy, you give me one. I will see. I don't think. You know what I'm saying, but I'm talking about like for real. Like that's a lifestyle. You gotta be committed. I mm, mean, so. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I think, um, <clears throat> like I was saying, you have to have the right mentality. And I just need to remember that junk food, although it tastes good, is not good for you. So. Yeah. And that's something I need to come up you know? But you only gain weight, though. Yeah, but it's still not good for me, I'm sure, you know? Well. I don't gain, but I don't want it to affect my health, like, in the long run. <clears throat> But yeah, so those are like our health, I guess, goals for the year. Just, you know, to become a healthier family. I'm not trying to do it cold turkey either because I feel like when you, for some people it might work, but for me, I know if I do anything cold turkey, I'm going to probably do it for a little bit and then quit in the end and I don't want to quit. I just, so little by little adjusting, like, you know, tweaking little parts of my life and, you know, like I said, trying to cut out sodium and oil and then. You know, drinking more water, giving up soda, like completely, I drink a lot of freaking soda. And I'm, Mommy. The, I'm the opposite. It's like me, it's like, go, you're doing it or you ain't. You know what I'm yeah. saying? For me, it's like, all or nothing. I'm giving you it because you know what I'm saying? Cause like it's done For me, I ain't, I'm not disciplined enough to eat a little bit of this or a little bit of that. I'm on one more. 
So I'd rather just cut it all the way out and just know I can't have it and that's that. But every everybody's diet is different and it works different for everybody. Mm -hmm. so. Exactly. So it's good to see the two different ways that um like your mindset versus my mindset, like it's true. Cause you actually have that discipline to just do it and just like, I mean, like, yeah. how the hell does he do that? Like, cause it's the moment that I that I eat a little bit of something that I'm like, all right, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? So I got to. Mm -hmm. So hold up, my rights, my guy. What up? Say thank you to Jazzy Jim. Say thank you, Jazzy Jim. Thank you, Jazzy Jim. For your cat. Is that right? Why can we not see what they're saying? Who? Like to the other people that are talking to us. They're not talking. No one's talking to We're us. We're not on live, girl. Yeah, we're recording. We're recording. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, so... Um, We've been getting a lot of like comments and questions about when we're having our second child and um, if we want more kids or you know if we plan like when we plan on starting again or whatnot. So we are definitely trying to have baby number two like right now. Yep. Um, and yeah we know we at least want another one. Maybe another one after that. So maybe three, four if I can convince someone. <clears throat> but we shall no, see. Five. Like five. You want five. four brothers and sisters? No. No. So um, obviously we have our daughter right here, Alina. Who? How old are you? Five. She just turned five. January eighth. <coughs> And our initial, like, you know, when me and Simon... 2019! Like, yeah, okay. <clears throat> when uh, Simon and me uh, started talking about, like, our future and how many kids we wanted, um, and we found out we were pregnant with Alina, um, he said he wanted... How many kids? Two. Yeah, two. Or said four. So we were like, oh, in the middle, th you know, three, whatever. And then it kind of scaled back to two. Because Simon is good at convincing me to do things. And also Alina's good at convincing people to not have kids. Yeah. Mm. So. Pardon. Although you see this little cute, smart face. She's, um. Don't be fooled. Yeah, you're a little crazy, right? Sometimes? Yeah. Don't be fooled. She's. Sometimes. Sometimes I get a little rough. Yeah. What Coco? She plays rough. Um, she uh cries. You cry a lot, right? A little. A little. She gets it for me. And um, yeah. So she. Because she's... you cry when you're watching stuff. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. So obviously we saw how hard raising a child is, and yeah. So we initially um wanted to have another child like when Alina was two and then we realized we couldn't handle that so we decided to wait a little bit longer and uh, Simon wanted to wait to it was like December um, to start so like this summer uh, yeah, 2019 yeah. and um, I had to do a little convincing <clears throat> Because um, I was on the marina for four years. I got it back in ja uh, no, I got it back in June 2014 when Alina was like five months old. And I had it until July 2018. So a little over four years. So I um, talked to him and I was like, you know, I don't see why we want to, why we have to wait. But he brought us some valid points. I was just saying because... At the time, I was getting out of the Navy, and I was like, I don't know how it's going to be like me transitioning and trying to get another job. And, you know what I'm saying? I know what, Mommy, what we got right now. Sure. I know I can take care of that with whatever it is we're doing right now. But I just want to make sure we good and stable and all that before we have another kid. But then after that, I was just like, whatever, y'all. We'll have another kid. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm like, the, my mentality was like, what's one more, you know? <clears throat> we can feed three, we can feed four. Like, that's just how I saw it. And then, I also don't want, I didn't want Alina and her siblings to be too far apart in I age. I found something hard. Okay, it's fine. I didn't want them to be too far in, uh, apart in age. Like, she's going to be five. So, basically, when we have another child, she's almost going to be six if it happens before her sixth birthday. Um, so I was like, oh, that's a I lot of years. I don't know what my sixth birthday will look like. I don't know either. But then again, I see how Simon is with his brother. You guys have a good relationship. And you guys are what? Nine. Nine, yeah, nine years apart. So I'm like, oh. I mean, can you stick, please? I had to talk to Simon about and tell him, like, I wanted to start trying, like, sooner rather than later. Oh, good point. Yeah. She brought up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, you know what I'm saying, I was going to have to wear rubbers, and I was like, nope, dead, that. I guess we having a kid, so. Stop, that is not the only reason. She right? was like, well, if you ain't trying to have no kid, I guess you wearing condoms, and I was like, I guess we having a kid. Yeah, because. That was it. Well, I told so you. all the convincing I needed. Oh, that was another thing. I had the marina, like, I wasn't trying to be selfish or anything, like, I told him, you know, that's fine, like, um, you know, like. Because my pullout game is trash. Yeah, he definitely wouldn't be pulling out at all. You know. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I was, um, I had uh, scheduled an appointment with the doctor because um, I had no issues with my marina at all. But after, I guess, my um, hormones were changing. They say sometimes after you've had it a while, like, it, your body is not, like, it's not as effective for your body. So like my period was like getting longer and like it was just really bad and I was having like really bad cramps and so I was like, you know, it's time for me, um, to, like I spoke to my doctor and she's like, yeah, maybe it's time for you to get it taken out. So that's when I told him, I was like, okay, you know, gonna have it removed and yeah, you're either gonna have to wear condoms or, nope. yeah, so. But I mean, don't make it sound like that because like we what? also talked about that because I said I would go on. I would go on um, birth control pills because I had gotten them. But the way I was thinking about that, I was like, we might as well just try to have a kid because all it takes is one day not taking that shit and you get knocked. So I was like, whatever, y'all. Mm -hmm. And you want it in another truck? Yeah. See, you say like you don't want another kid. Yeah, I do. I mean, this time around, I had to do a little more convincing. Last time when we had this one right here, he convinced me. You know, we were um, 25. Well, I was turning 25. And I guess he was ready for a child. And so what was your thought process? Yo, then? honestly, I don't know. Because, uh, <laughs> nah, because I guess so. I guess I was ready, cause I wasn't dealing with nothing but like little thotties that I couldn't have no future with. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And then like you met me. once we, you know what I mean? Once we kicked it off, I was like, yo, she got the wife quality, so let me go ahead and put one in at one time. Yeah, and she ain't got no kids, and I ain't got nothing against women that already have kids. That's you know what I'm saying, single or nothing like that. But me, I was the kind of person I was like, damn, I want to go through the experience. The first time with somebody, not with somebody that already got a kid. But not to say that, you know what I'm saying, we wouldn't have thought that she had a kid, but he thought I, I had that thought process though. You thought I had a kid? I thought Gio was her kid. And I was like, nah. Mm. I was like, if Gio's her kid. He was I still mean, trying to talk to me. I wasn't trying to talk. You feel Shut me? Shut up. I wasn't trying to talk. Uh -huh. Whatever. I was trying to make that bed talk. Right. Uh, 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 you feel me? Right. But <laughs> when I met him also, I was happy as well that he didn't have children. Because that was the age where everyone, like, you know, we were 25. Everyone you started talking to probably had a kid. Or, or it was getting more, it was getting a lot harder to find people that didn't have kids. And I also didn't want, you know, again, nothing against people who have kids. Like, but I wanted, I didn't want to deal with drama, unnecessary drama or whatnot. And, um, Mommy, can I don't want to drop that. It's fine. So I was also 
happy he didn't have kids. He didn't have like a, he didn't have any baggage, ex-wives, nothing like that. So, um, yeah. So he told me, literally, we hadn't been dating for that long when he told me he wanted to try to have a kid. And um, I didn't see myself having kids until I was like 30, but I was like, I saw myself with him. I saw a future with him. And shut up. And I knew he would be a good dad. Like, you can just tell the way he was with his family, how he was raised. So I was like, why not? If it happens, it happens. I didn't think it was going to happen. So soon, though, it literally happened the first time we tried. Bam. And, um. You straight like that. Yeah, it was crazy. I didn't think that. And that it was going to happen that quick. So, um, we ended up obviously finding out we were pregnant and it was good. Like, you know, yeah, which is, I think makes it a little harder this time because I was so used to, like, I thought in my mind it was going to happen like right away and it hasn't. And I read, you know what you're <laughs> and I read something about secondary infertility, which is when people, uh, women have trouble getting pregnant second time around. Sometimes it could be attributed to, like, uh, what is it, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, I think. Um, sorry if I'm, I mispronounced it. Or, like, low sperm count. No, I'm not saying, you know, that's you. But just saying, or, like, sometimes there's no rhyme or reason for that. We just have trouble issues. Um, and that's what I think I got in my head, so I think I need to get out of my head a little. But in the meantime, we will enjoy the process. Facts. And, yeah, so, why do you want a baby brother or sister? Because I love baby. You love baby? You think you'll be a good uh, big sister? Yeah? You'll be the best big sister in the whole wide world? I'll be a beautiful sister. You will. And a smart sister? And um, do you want me to surprise you when I, uh, when we find that we're having another baby? Yeah, and I know what we should do when we have another baby. What? I'm going to say after the video. Okay, so you don't want to say now? Um, no, so I can forget when I, when I see the baby. What? So do you want me to tell you, like, it doesn't matter when I tell you, like, I can tell you, like, right now? Yeah, you pregnant? No, 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 no. I'm oh. not. I'm not. But. Nah, I don't want no surprise. I don't want no damn riddles or none of that shit. <laughs> Tell me straight up. Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm pregnant. Let me I'm know not going to text you. Like, well, you know what I mean. Like, if I'm not here, FaceTime me and be like, bro, mm -mm. I see two lines. Bro, I'm not going to tell you through FaceTime. I'll you going to wait till I get home? Yes, of course. Holding that kind of news, you can't hold water, yo. <laughs> I, it's true. I suck at surprises. No. You're going to be like, guess what? <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Stop. I will not tell you. I'd be surprised if you. I, you've had... Well, you probably sent me the picture of the, uh, no, the pregnancy test. No, I'm not going to send it to you. I'll probably record it. Oh, you yeah, want to record? Duh. But yes, guys. So. You didn't put me in the room. Well, you're gonna see it too. But yeah, so we're definitely. <laughs> this is gonna be it for now. But we're definitely trying for baby number two. Hopefully, it happens soon. So we're trying. We're That's trying. the answer. We're trying. We're trying. Alina, say we're trying. They're trying. We're trying. <laughs> we're trying. So hopefully we're trying to get a boy or a girl. Yeah, boy. we don't care. <coughs> it's gonna be boy, boy, boy. That's I kind of want a girl, so we need a boy because Facts. there's no boy. Who's here. already a girl here? Me. Boom. There we go. And Coco. Exactly. My mom. Exactly. And the only guy here. My dad. That's it. So he needs another guy. Oh, well, we shall see. But he has. Another guy already. Who? Dion's and Kylo. Yeah, but they don't live here. But yeah, whatever so guy. gonna come here. Whatever we get, I'm more than happy with. Thanks. As yeah. long as it's healthy, you know what I mean? That's all we really worried about. Yeah. So, hopefully so. soon, guys. So, Lena, end the video. Like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of our videos. Bye. Bye. Peace out.
Mission is the money, the money is motivation. Motivation is drive when I drive, I'm so evasive. Haters tryna run me off the road, cause my shit ice cold. I stuck to the G code, and now I'm in stock mode. I got more than just one flow, I can switch them up like my bowls. I bend but never fold, I'm 